Today, the Paul Blue Demons take on the Creighton Blue Jays. A win here in the semifinals will put them in the finals and maybe even a chance to go to the national tournament. Bears are looking forward to their week four matchup. Against who? Their hated rivals from up north, the Green Bay Packers. And lastly, senior Megan Coronado, Mary Conley, and Kirsten Burton all made the Big East first team. Her seven strikeouts led to a shutout. DePaul now is 42-9, and nine, heading into the national tournament. From the ballpark at Rosemont, I'm LeVar Morrell. Good day, DePaul. The Blue Jays are amp, but the Blue Demons are like, yeah, yeah, let's just get this thing over with. DePaul's Kirsten Burton looked good from the get-go. She started the game out by striking out the side. One, two, three. Thank you all for coming, and have a good one. Gun and the men's team start their journey with the season opener on the Lincoln Park campus for all students to enjoy. But it was newcomer freshman Tommy Hamilton IV who stole the show. Making big buckets and snatching boards, Hamilton finished his first collegiate game with 16 points and 11 rebounds. But it was a blowout from the get-go as Melvin added to the Blue Demons' three-point barrage with five of his own. He finished with 17 points, moving him into the school's top 10 scorers of all time. Recently, the volleyball squad was there as well. Coming into the contest, they lost their last six of seven games. Not many in the stands for this one, but it still proved to be an exciting, high-energy contest. The Pirates jumped out quickly in the first two sets, getting a quick 2-0 lead over the Blue Demons. But coming out the break, DePaul bounced back behind the tandem of Abby Flinner, who had 24 kills on the day, the most by a Blue Demon since the 09 season. <laughs> After a struggling season that ended with a first round loss in the Big East Tournament, the DePaul men are hoping to finally turn things around. Coach Oliver Purnell is optimistic. But this is what you this is what you live for. You live to start to bring together your team to compete uh, you know, against other teams. Coming into the 2013-2014 season, the DePaul Blue Demons look to make a run this year. Not just in the Big East, but to the NCAA Tournament. Somewhere they have not been since the year 2000. Cleveland Melvin and Brandy Young both stated that they have some big foes in the Big East. However, Young stated the biggest foe that they have is themselves. You know, we are we our biggest uh, competitor right now. You know, we got to stay as a team. We got to stay together. And, you know, we can't have no negative energy. You know, my last couple years here, we had a lot of negative energy. But this team, we just got to be a team, you know, play as a team, do things as a team. You know, everything can come out the right way. Melvin will be counted on for leadership and scoring. He's brought a lot to the team since coming here from Baltimore. I mean, since my freshman year, you know, I've been just working hard in college. And college, I mean, I just grew over the past years, and I got better and better. And I just wanted to just continue to keep on doing what I do and um, putting on the show for my team and help my team, you know, to win the game. The Blue Demons have a common goal, whether player or coach, and that's winning. Yet it won't be easy with teams like Georgetown, Marquette, and Butler in the Big East. But according to Young, this year is going to be different. Just be, just be ready for DePaul out there, and uh, we, we're going to be on the map this year. Strong words, but the Blue Demons are confident they can back it up. I am LeVar Morrell, reporting for Good Day DePaul.